Hi everyone, welcome back to our second SQL video. An introduction before we go directly in today's agenda, data in tables can be of multiple kinds, such as numeric text image, which we will ignore this kind of data for now, and also date and time data. Numeric data is stored as data type int, represent integer. Text data is primarily stored as bar chart, variable character of a defined maximum length. In computer programming language, create, read, update, and delete, quote, are the four basic operations of persistent storage. In the following presentation, we will cover some of the basics of reading information from a SQL database using the select state statement. So for today's agenda, we are going to talk more about the basic select from syntax, means what data do you want to retrieve from the database, second limit. By using that, we can limit how many records get returned from the SQL and also where, which we could use to filter the information. First, we use select to retrieve rows selected from one or more tables. From clause refers to the specific table name. If we add star symbol after select, it means the SQL will return every column. Otherwise, we could specify specific columns of the tables to retrieve. Second, let's look at the SQL using limit, which specifically limit query results to those that lie within a particular range. For example, here by writing SQL, we could only limit the first 30 students' information and get retrieved. Another very useful clause is where it specifies a search condition for the rows returned by a query. For example, here by specifying, we only want to see all the student information whose major is theology. Finally, we could combine all those together so we can retrieve the first 30 students' data who are majoring in theology. Note that where clause followed the select from and limit clause comes at the end. This is a good way we could filter and only show limited records to make the output more desirable. This is the end of the second SQL video. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.